Testament of Youth is based on the war memoir from Vera Britton and I really enjoyed the different perspective of this, you know, this is told from the people that have been left behind, it's not about the men on the front, it's about the women, the children, everyone that was left behind. And the character of Vera is so interesting, you know, you've got this woman in 1914 who wishes to educate herself, she wants to go to Oxford, she wants to learn, she wants to write, and then you've got that typical 1914 father who wants the woman to stay at home and play the piano for her all day. And this film really does bring 1914 to life, you know, through the set design, just the actor's appearance and just their mannerisms, just how they acted. The costume is wonderful, you know, just Vera down to her pretty dresses. Just watching it I was like, I just want to dress like that now. <laughs> down to that and then we've got the men in that army uniform just all was fantastic the cast was so strong as well if i talk about uh, the younglings first we had you know alicia vikander as uh, vera and she she really was strong and just was determined and she gave such this lovely performance you've got newcomer taron egerton who i was mesmerized by because you know, I went in and I was like, why do I recognise this guy? And I was like, oh, he's a guy that's going to be in Kingsman. So I was so impressed with him because he, I think he is going to have an incredible career and he's going to show what range he's got. You've got Kit Harrington as Ron Allbear for the women. <laughs> and then you've got Merlin, all grown up, Colin Morgan. He is really just adorable. Dominic West, Emily Watson, and the Chancellor, Miranda Richardson. It's just such a grand ensemble. The names do not stop and they're all fantastic. They all really have just created this wonderful working environment for each other and I think that's what made them such a great team. The subject matter is so harrowing yet this film has managed to make something so beautiful to look at just down to locations, costume, just, you know, etc. I was just, I just couldn't get over that feeling. I was like, this is such a horrible story and it's such a sad time to think about, but yet you've made it seem so beautiful. I almost felt guilty liking the film. It doesn't offer a powerful drama that I think it's trying to achieve, though Dominic West did manage to make me sob like a baby. <laughs> But it does offer a really engaging insight to Vera's life just falling apart. Don't forget to like the video and if you do that why not subscribe and pop a comment in the box below. Answer this for me. What's your favourite war film?